And all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles of great millstone and salutations. And to the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai, in sincerity and truth. With this great gospel, man. With this great gospel. Um, I'm going to read the book of Luke. Let's start Luke 21 and 34. And, um, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that the day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man and to stand before the son of man man because um that's what that's what the world is being prepped for the coming of our messiah the coming of the lord and savior not jesus christ but yahweh shai yahweh shai mashiach and who's sending him his back who's who is sending him back his father yahweh yahweh and um you could see the signs are clear as day, right? What is the what is the topic of conversation, right? What is the topic of conversation? Um, crime is up. Um, it looks like we might be going to war. Um, why are the prices so high? Um, people are losing their jobs. People are losing their houses. Um, people are dying at a young age. People are committing suicide, right? And um, so what you got now? People are prepping for what? They see the end of this world. They see the end of this world. The end of this age. The end of this era. The end of this devil's rulership. The end of this society. That's what that's what you're witnessing. So you got these preppers, right? Mostly Esau Edom. Mostly Esau Edom. Carnal thinking, right? Fleshly thinking man. Right? Because his spirit is not of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. His spirit is of himself, the devil. Right, so he's thinking, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna survive through this. I'm gonna make it. Fifteen items every prepper should hoard. Yeah, so who the, you see, well, that's this ain't for this ain't for a regular Israelite. This ain't for who the Lord is calling. The Lord said, said he's talking to who? Let me get this. Let me get this verse. read the book of Matthew 5 and 1 it says and seeing the multitudes he went up into the mountain and when he was set and when he was set his disciples came unto him and he opened his mouth and taught them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the most high. You see, you gotta realize these rich motherfuckers, man, they're not in a meek state, right? <laughs> they're not in a mourning state, right? They're in a survival state. They could afford to buy all this bullshit, right? And, and they're cocky as hell with it, too. They're cocky as hell. They be having them videos showing all these different things they got not known. They prepping all that for these people we reading about, right? The people who's looking for the Lord. So that's how we prep. We prep. We prep. Our spirit is low. We looking for more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We are looking for the Lord to strengthen us, um, to cover us with His blood, man, and, and protect us and guide us in the paths of what safety, right? We looking for the Lord to preserve us. What the Bible say? As a matter of fact, let me get this other verse. Know how we do it, man. We gotta get them verses, them biz nurses. Let me get this verse. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Read the book of Isaiah forty-five and twenty-two. 
It says, look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am Yahweh, and there is none else, right? Yeah, we're looking unto the Lord. We're looking unto the Lord. We're not looking unto ourselves, right? We're not looking unto um, different items because most of us can't afford these fucking items. We can't afford to prep like the white man preps. <laughs> no, we're not prepping like the devil preps. We're not prepping like a carnal man preps guns, canned food goods. Yeah, first off, the Bible said we about to be kicked out of our houses. The Bible said in those days be as pilgrims on the earth, right? So, um, yeah. This is a this is a fucking fantasy, um, science fiction fantasy that these devils is living, right? This ain't no reality. The truth of the matter is, these people about to turn on each other, man. Matter of fact, matter of fizznack. Bear with me. Zechariah 14 and 13 and it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor right that's what the Lord's about to do man it's about to, the Bible also said with friends against friends right neighbor against neighbor right and these are all plagues. These are all curses to bring the downfall of what Babylon the Great, to bring the downfall of America. We go to the book of 2nd Ezra 15 and 17. Right? Very strong chapter, man. In the times we're living in, woe to the world. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. That's why they prepping. Because they see the end of this world is coming. They see destruction coming to this world. So they think in canned food goods, guns. Um, survival packs, um, bandages, um, first aid kits, um, bow and arrow survival fishing equipment, um, ready to eat meals, things to clean the water. Um, and look, I'm gonna read Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard the, their kings nor princes. In the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Here goes the point. Here goes the point. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. Right? I'm talking about, yeah, we're going to stay here and survive in my house. I bought my house. I'm not leaving my house. This is my house. This is my land. No, you don't lost your mind. The Bible says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Man, fuck you, man. That's the days you're coming to, right? Ain't no fucking waving at your neighbor. You're going to be afraid of your neighbor. Because as soon as his shit run low, where do you think he coming? He coming next door to your crib, right? Coming next door to your crib. And guess what? You ran your mouth a little too much. You've been telling them you've been preparing you've been preparing you was cocky with it and he just happened to lose his job before you and they suffering and here you are still eating like they can't tell that you're not going through a famine like they can't tell that that you're not that you're not struggling from a lack of bread that you are not going through that when especially you're eating you got your food you're eating your family's a little more happier than all the other families right that's when um these people start turning on each other, man. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. You preppers are fucked. Marauders, all right? Gangs. Um, um, FEMA troops, right? Violent motherfuckers. Psychotic motherfuckers. Homeless motherfuckers kicking in windows, kicking in doors, right? 
and spoil their goods because of a lack of bread and for great tribulation. Great tribulation, man. That's what's coming. Great tribulation. 